Hey, how's it going? Well, I got some problems here with these Polaris Sportsman's. This is the first one I got a problem with. Uh, it's a brake master cylinder is leaking, so I've ordered uh, another one. I don't know if it'll be any good or not because it's from uh, overseas. Plus, I have to do the brake pads on this. The front, they're worn right out. This is an 05, and now I've got my uh, 07. Just the other day, I noticed some oil leaking underneath it. So for what the heck, so I crawled underneath here. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see it, but... Um, apparently there is a weep hole underneath the... Uh, we'll do this. Here's the water pump. There's a weep hole underneath the water pump, apparently, that... Um, it can either leak any freezer oil because there's two seals in there from what I can tell and uh, it was really leaking. I just pulled it in the garage and got a major uh, oil slick here so I'm going to be uh, working on that so uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to take this apart and just see what's in there and I have to figure out where I'm going to order the parts from. Okay, I'll show you when I get some parts. Alright, so I took the hose off, draining out the coolant, and then I uh, will proceed to take this uh, cover off. Okay, so now we gotta take the impeller out. And that weep hole is right under here, so it's on the other side of this impeller. I believe it's right in between the two seals. Okay, let me work on getting that nut off of there. Okay, there's your impeller. And there's the first seal right there. Okay, here's your antifreeze seal. Uh, it's kind of tight in here. The ones I've seen on YouTube, they had a lot more room to get in there. Look at that pretty close. So I'm pretty sure you can do all this from outside. I don't think you need to pull any more cases apart. I hope. All right, I made some progress on this uh, water pump seal. I was panicking for a little while there because uh, I was having a bit of a time getting it out. 
everyone on YouTube says, oh, you can just poke it out with a screwdriver, but can't get in there properly. So anyway, here's what I came up with. So I have this slide hammer. And so I rigged up this uh, screw, I welded on a nut, and was able to pull it out. Didn't come out too badly. Then the uh, oil seal back there, I just uh, turned a screw into it and came right out. So I'm not sure why that failed, but it's pretty hard. So uh, I'm just waiting to get my other uh, the parts for it, which is going to be at least a week and a half or so. So anyway, when I get the parts in, I'll uh, continue with this. Okay, so I'm about to install the oil seal. Finally got the parts in. I have uh, some grease on the side that faces the bearing to hold that spring in. Nothing on around the outside. So let's see if I can get this in. Just going to give it a tap with a socket. Okay. Right, have a look, see if it's in. Okay, it looks like it's in. And what I'm going to do now, I am going to fill up the oil. And I'll see if it's going to leak out before I put the... Uh, mechanical sealant so let's do that okay so I got the uh, mechanical seal put in okay so there is a metal washer here it has a rubber inset it's a seal now I'll put the impeller on and then there's a copper washer that goes on top of that And then that. Okay, now we're going to tighten up the nut. Okay, now we're going to tighten up the nut.
Okay, so I got the impeller on, tightened it up. Hopefully that's right. There was a space in between the impeller and the case when I, before I tightened it and that uh, pushed the impeller in. So now we're going to put the uh, cover on with the new gasket. Okay, I'm going to tighten those up, put the hoses back on, fill it up with antifreeze, and we'll run it. So, I got everything back together. I have ran it for about 15 minutes so far. The fan cycled on twice. Don't see anything leaking. It's not overheating, so it must have done something right. So, I'll just start it up and show you. I'm going to try and get you a view of that weep hole. So I can crawl under here. Right there is the weep hole. So if you see oil or antifreeze or combination coming out of there, you know you have a bad water pump seals.